Hi, hi guys. My name is Ray. Um, creator of Twelve Floors. So actually, there's a there's a there's a team behind Twelve Floors, right? So I'm I'm going to be introducing you uh, to the, to the entire team uh, in this game, and I'm going to walk you through Twelve Floors, and um, I'm going to talk to you about what's behind uh, each component, what's the motive. Uh, I'm assuming you have played the game. Well, if you haven't, uh, I'm going to link it down below for you to download and play. Let's uh, start the adventure, shall we? A nice music, fine. So, uh, well, let's just talk about the the aesthetics right here. So, I think uh, the vibe here, the vibe here that this scene gives off is super cool. Um, well, yeah, like a, it's a you, you have the light going on there on the left hand side, and you have the uh, music on the right. So, like when you when you walk, I think I mean you. I don't. I'm not sure if you can hear this, but you can have the effect that the, the music is now on your left hand side. So let's go back and, and get the get the um, doing here. My head is ringing, what time is it? How long have I, have I been sleeping? What was I doing with this? Why, why can't I remember anything? I'm guessing he's referring to you. That thing behind him. Oh, I need to find out what's going on. Okay, let's go. Right, you get a new... New life. I'll call it new life. You have four video clips to collect in this game, okay? So, well, clearly it's your empty right now, okay? But it would be really cool to have like a credit scene uh, right at the sewer. It would be really spooky though. Yeah, so that's a hot take. So, a simple game save uh, function. Well, I've received like complaints or feedback that uh, the save function doesn't work for, for some. Uh, I'm guessing that's a bug because... Well, I'm going to test it out later. Right. Yeah, so here's the credit scene. Let's go into it. I'm going to introduce you to the team behind 12 floors. Right, so it's going to roll out the credits. Right, right, right. So, uh, it's a team of uh, five, right? So, uh, I'm the, you can call it a programmer, uh, designer as well. I mean, I put together things as well. All right, I put together the entire scene. Uh, the art, art direction by Huyun and Yongi. Uh, they both are in the art stream, right? So, Huyun is a graphic designer, Yongi is a 3D animation design student. Uh, and then you have Kang Xuan. Kang Xuan is in the same field as Yongi, 3D, animation and design. Look Xiang with the uh, multimedia, graphic design, yeah. And then we have dialogue by Nick himself. So Nick is a friend of mine, hi Nick. Very, very interesting dialogue. And then we have voices, Manola by Winnie. So she's a friend of mine too, Miss Chatterley by Tina, Mrs. Han Poi by Song Pui, and Ju by Nick himself. And of course we cannot forget the the awesome music by Julian himself, and then some of the sound effects by uh from from the websites. Uh, yeah, so that's the entire team behind Twelve Floors. Uh, I really appreciate the help, the effort on on this this project. Let's uh let's talk to Miss Chastity. Oh, Curtis, is that you? Yeah, Miss Chastity. In a while, how have you been doing, dear? Well, not really well. I'm still wondering what's going on. What's wrong, dear? You can ask me. I'll try my best to help you. Have, have you seen my dad around? Is Jasmine? Don't think so. He's usually checking out his car in the morning, but I haven't seen him recently. Oh, all right. Thank you, Miss Chastity. 
Anything for you, my dear. Oh, uh, Curtis, can I ask you to do me a little favor? I... I guess? What can I do? There have been some noise complaints on the 13th, but I'm not sure who the troublemaker is yet. Can you help me find out who's behind all the screaming and shouting? Hmm, I'll try to check on it. Thank you, Curtis. Stay safe now. Hmm. I will. Bye. Bye. Let's keep moving, let's keep moving. Yeah, it's, you, like, there are certain stuff that you can slash in the game, right? So, it's... Like I said, it's a really simple mechanism. You, Curtis can only slash, can only jump, can only move left and right. That's not much going on here, but um, I was trying to really put in um, things that you can slash. Uh, so that uh, players can actually go around and explore and find things to slash. But you never know what you can slash and what you cannot slash unless you try it out. Yeah, so that's the that's the idea behind it. But uh, it's still a simple mechanism. Oh, Kirk, you're finally awake. You know, you might have broken the world record for the longest sleeping hour of how long you just slept. Hmm. Stop exaggerating that. How long was I actually a sleep? I'm not exactly sure. But it may have been a day or so. Even the sloths would be impressed by this amazing feat. We're not exactly sure. They're yeah, talking about me. I was probably just very tired. What are you doing just there, doing Dad? The usual car checkout. Looks like my baby's gonna need to have some parts replaced. Ooh. <laughs> You're gonna get replaced too. Anything I can do to help? Uh, no. I'm actually too tired. You're just too lazy. Kurt, it's okay. I can manage this myself anyways. You should be more active at your age. I'm fine. I'm just watching you fix the car. So. Oh, wait. I've almost forgotten. There's a girl who wants to meet you. She's waiting at the park. Didn't know you have a girlfriend, eh? Dad. She's not my girlfriend. We're just friends, okay? So, I'll go look for her now. And remember, we're having business tonight. So come back early. Ah, it's us. Right. So, uh, well, to break it down, the uh, the entire scene here, the dialogue with Dad, uh, I, tr I try to make it like a. Uh, to look like it was like a, it, it's not supposed to be real, right? Obviously, with the effect, like a like a TV show, right? Uh, it's supposed to be a scene in your mind, so it's not real. That's that's it. It's not real. So, so to help to convey the message that it's not real, yeah. But that's, that's just how I did it. So, Let's talk to Manola, see what she has to say. When did you get up? Don't think we've given you any water today. How are you feeling? I'm pretty sure you're still shaken up by the incident. Hmm. I'm not even sure what time it is. Everything is kind of a blur right now. Wait, wait. What did incident? Did the bugs sneak into your head and eat part of your already funny brain? How in the world did you forget about what happened? Uh, I just woke up today with no idea what happened before. Mm. Are you too young to be suffering from memory loss? Or are you just that forgetful? Huh, funny. Forgetful, probably. No, like, can you just well, tell me what happened? Cowardly. I'm gonna need you to brace yourself before I tell you okay. Sure. Please, just go ahead and tell you, uh, me. You kind of... How do I say this? Killed your dad. <laughs> Really? Are you crazy? I was just talking to him before coming here to meet you. Also, there's no way I would kill my own dad. You dumbass. Why do I even need to lie to you? You can ask the others who helped to clean up after what you did. If you don't believe me. Clean up? Wow. I really did make a scene, didn't I? How did I do it? You hit your dad so hard with the wrench that it broke into pieces. Your dad was lying on the floor, holding one half of the wrench in his right hand. Ah, one half of the wrench. That's what's behind me. I can't believe I did that. There's no way I would have forgotten about this. What about this pencil? Looks familiar though. So it's actually a pencil, taped to a wrench. But uh, I'm not going to tell you uh, the full story yet. Well, right. Please. So, we take your on. favorite pencil to the broken wrench, so if you could still use both the wrench and your pencil. Hmm. So, from Nola, you get to see that it's a 
broken wrench and a pencil. A uh, broken wrench taped to a pencil. Alright, we'll see if it's if that's true towards the end. You're Who's ready me? with me. You know, you should go and look for them. If your dumbass still doesn't trust me. Hmm. I think I need some time to possess this. Well, I'm not who I don't trust you. Drew on the 13th floor. In case your pea brain doesn't remember where you be. Okay, bye, Manila. Bye, pea brain. Go back, let's go back. That's a. I'm not sure. Like, I find it really. Uh, like, it's, it's a nice touch when, when you can do that in. Uh, when we were developing the game, so. It's uh, these are the subtle touches that I actually went for uh, to create that fight. So that is missing now. Oh, Manila's probably right about my pea brain. <laughs> Let's go back. Let's go back. Uh, I remember Miss Chastity told me about some noise complaint from 13th floor, right? So I'm gonna go there. So uh, I think for, for those of you who have played this game, I think you, you know what pressing down means, right? You, you hear the score. Stop, 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 Drew. Drew, what are you doing over there? My name over this. So when did you get up, Kurt? I got up this morning with a ringing Well, that's headache. to be expected. You almost didn't eat anything for like God knows how many days. You definitely owe us big time for keeping you alive when you're unconscious. You should buy us like pizzas or fried chicken or tacos or... Or... or what? Drew, what is it are you true? talking about? My dad. I yeah, do it. but don't be too hard on yourself. Your dad was an asshole to you. Just like how my parents were assholes to me. We both killed our parents for the same reason. Uh, we what? Okay. My dad really treated me that badly. Hmm. Was that was a conversation with him just now? Just my imagination. Stop mumbling to yourself. Just look at the scars hmm. on your arms and legs. My parents never treated me like their son. I was like a stranger on the streets to them. We're both victims <laughs> of our parents. Thank God for my boy Guilty here for staying with me like a true friend. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Who's I still remember the look on my parents' faces. The intense eyes. The pale skin. The trembling lips. Before Guilty bit their head right off. You should have seen their bloody heads dangling from Guilty's mouth. That was so funny. Ah, oh, I see, I see. I think Guilty's a dog, right? <laughs> Guilty's a de definitely a dog. You're scaring me a little, Drew. That's too much for well, me. Well, you shouldn't be scared. Because they should have seen it coming for ignoring me all the time. They totally deserved it. Every single bit of it. Did you catch that joke? Every single bit. You know, because they died from Guilty's bites. Ha 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 ha. Well, okay. Uh, please start joking around you. What, what did you guys do with the gas body. Don't worry though, nobody's gonna find him. We buried him eight feet deep. That's the feet deeper than what people usually do. Who? Really? I didn't know that. Where is Why the body? Why does that then? matter, Kurt? What matters is that he's gone forever and ever and ever. Well, clearly you're hiding something from me. You don't want me to find the body. Hmm. Okay. So that's what happened. Oh, by the way, Miss Chastity told me that there have been noise complaints around this floor. Do you know where the noises come from? I think that might have been me. Ever since I disposed of my rubber chicken toy at the dump site, it has come to haunt me in my dreams every night and I will wake up screaming my lungs out. It's lifeless eyes. It's pain screams. It's rubbery texture. Ugh. Just thinking about it scares me shitless. <laughs> so you're, you're scared of a toy chicken? Come on, Drew. You can kill your parents, but you cannot. But oh, come on, you, and you're scared of a toy chicken? Come on. What? I don't really get it. But it's okay. I think I'll go now. See, Curtis is making fun of you, man. I mean, you're making you fun of yourself. should go to tell him, you know, that you're awake. I'll come along with you to find him. Sure, tag along. Come on, let's go. Right one, I don't know. Come on, buddy. Ah. So there's one hard part about um, making Drew following Curtis. What well, making Drew follow Curtis? It's it's a, it's a it's a difficult part to it because like 
he has to follow you and he has to follow you through the lift platform he has to go down with you um, that's a hard part because if he's not inside the lift platform and you go down well i just made it such that he would actually uh appear right next to you next to curtis so there was a yeah uh let's go let's go kill some enemies right come on keep up drew ah there you go Good. come on drew get away uh -huh. not leaving any of the bottles for you right so can we go down we definitely cannot go down right we can go up and what does it say here um maximum occupancy one person so the number two was slashed and uh I, you know what I'm, I'm just gonna explain to you actually actually um drew wrote that actually drew wrote that so if you compare it well, I mean, there's only two uh, writings, right, on the wall. So it's one is Ju, right here, and then there's the other one, uh, the maximum of occupancy. So it's actually Ju, Ju who wrote that. So, meaning, um, we, meaning you can only get down if you are, if there's only one person in that lead platform, and with Ju following me, you won't be able to get anywhere. He's going to follow you anywhere, everywhere, right? So, I need to think of a way to get rid of them. Are the rats still here? No. Okay. So, the door here. It's not working out. Yeah, right. Look. So, do would appear right next to me if I go up or down in the lift platform. But you know what? I'm just gonna not waste your time. So, he's scared of rubber chicken, right? And it's still right here. It's not at the dump site. So, I'm just gonna scare him away. <laughs> Bye, bye, Ju. So, right, Ju, Ju is gone. Uh, let's go down. Well, going nice. So down a what do you call it? It's on the ground sewer. So I really like the um the background. Um, Water dripping sound gives the uh, spooky vibe to, to everything actually. Ooh. Let's go, let's go. Okay, so we have something here. What is it? It's heli components, rotor blades, bombs, lamps, missiles. Mm. So it's all the components for a helicopter. And you have bombs and missiles. Wow. Days. Ha 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 ha. Well, wow. okay. Is that you, Rendor? Yes. What are you doing here? I'm actually very busy with my experiment, as you can see. So, don't waste my time and speak your mind. Hmm. Ju told me to let you know that I'm awake. Well, hmm. Okay. I can see you here, so you're definitely awake. Anything else that you want to let me know before you waste another five seconds of my life? Okay, I, I'm, I'm guessing that you know about what happened with my dad too. Yeah, don't fret over it, man. There is right. nothing wrong with what you did. We all did it to our parents too. Look at me now. The world is like my Lego blocks. I can build whatever I want and destroy whatever I want. Wow. <laughs> Good job, Indo. Do you know how exactly everything happened? You really should stop asking about it. Also, after a quick calculation in my head, Answering it will be a big, I emphasize again, a big waste of my precious time. So, I will make the correct decision, which is to not answer it. Hmm, you talk a lot, Rindor. Please, I need to know like, what exactly I'm happened. I'm 99.98% sure that the others had already told you the truth, but you are just in denial. I'll tell you what you can do to find the truth, though. You can take the elevator and leave me alone. I'll even go the extra mile and tell you where it is. It's right there. Where? Well, it's really funny though. Where is that 0.02% of uh, uncertainty? 
Sorry about that, I'll stop bothering you now. Uh, so that's another computer here. It's supposed to find video clips. Okay. So something weird is going on here, kill a toy. But it's Drew wanna kill a toy from Rendwell. Got a bad feeling about this. I need to escape from here as soon as possible. I'm guessing he's reading something off the off the um, computer screen. So Drew wants to kill a toy from Rendwell. Well, I think I made a mistake uh, scaring Drew away. He's probably gonna find his revenge. So. Let's go up. Let's see. Ooh, nice room. Well, actually, that's uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure you. Uh, you notice this in the game, but you can actually slap the lamp. Ooh. I'm not sure if you noticed that, but yeah. Let's talk to this um old lady. Oh, uh, that's definitely a person. Hi, <laughs> Kurt. How have you been doing, you little bean? Little bean. Why is everybody calling me names? Oh, Mrs. Humphrey. I'm not really doing fine. Well, this Kurt is. Obviously, lost his memory, but he remembers Mrs. Humpo. But that's. Is that something wrong? I'm not sure what to say about that. I'll do anything to help you. You know, I treat you like my own son. Your own son? My dad is missing. I've been looking around, but I, I, I just can't find him anywhere. Oh, darling, don't worry. I'm sure he returns soon. I've, I must say, I haven't seen him around here, and we have been seeing each other for quite some time. Oopsies, that's the doubt from my mouth. What? Grandma? Are you kidding me? All my friends say he's gone forever, and I was the one responsible. I don't understand it. Darling, I'm sure they're just joking with you. God, I want you to know that it's not your fault. Hmm. He'll be back. I'm sure of it. Probably may not to buy you a toy. Ooh, a toy. Really? A killer toy? You really think so? Wow, that doubtful look. I guess I can continue to look for him. Oh, you go. Let me give you one of frogs. Just you have one. I'm sure that he'll help you along the way while also keeping you company. So, this is some boys of frog lady. Ah, uh, come on. Thank you so much, this is on Foy. I'm not sure if I want to thank him. you. That, and I miss it. And you made it. Stay safe now, Kurt. <laughs> okay, sure. You missed him. Okay. You too. Wow. This is one big frog, dude. Okay, let's slash this one again. I'm not sure if you notice that. Why is he? Nice. And you know what? You can slash the frog. Well, you can actually kill them all. Uh, I'm gonna bring you to a secret spot. I'm not sure if you notice this as well, but uh, there you go. Oh dear, it's been a long time since we last met. I miss you so much. Our things going with the frogs. Is Dolly Hop still not active these days? I think I might have found a solution for that poor guy. I promise you, I'll see you when it's all over. What of you? It's a turn in. Mm. 12. F. 12 fools. So. Guessing this is my dad, Mr. Turner. Okay. Lolly hops. So lolly hops in. I'm tired of this place, man. It's pretty creepy. You need to keep up with me. Bolly hops. I'm not waiting for you. Let's go. <laughs> Did you really think I would let you escape so easily? What a fool. I'm 103% sure that you would oh, fall into my trap. How dare you treat Drew that way? Now, suffer from a mechanical rat. You're a mechanical rat, right? I'm gonna show you how I, how I destroy this. Oh, come on. Oh, 
Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and finish this in one try, alright? Uh, no retries. Oh. How many bats? Oh, come on. Come up, come up. Oh, damn. Yeah. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I need to be careful here, though. Oh, damn it. That's what the missiles are for, right? Ah, oh, damn it, man. Three life left. Gotta be really careful about this, dude. You know what? Okay. I'm out. I'm out. This is... Really? Zero percent? Come on. Come on, I'm gonna beat you, you this really time. Right? Let you <laughs> escape so easily? One yeah. Goal. I'm 103% sure that you would fall into my trap. How dare you treat Drew that way? Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Oh, no, he's coming through with me. Great. Okay, it's not that bad. Oh, second time around, second time around it. Oh no, 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 no. Get away from that point. Right, come to me, come to me. Oh no. Oh, it's not that bad, eh? Two more video clips, I am guessing. Uh, and then it's over. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man, come on. Holy. Ah. That. You see that? How did you destroy my perfect Oh, wow. What did you just shoot out? I oh. return to the heart. Nice of you, Lindor. Mark my words. Second try. That's that's not too bad. Walking street. Okay, let's uh let's go down. It wasn't that bad, eh? Okay, let's uh Get to the next game. Right, so there's a mini game here. There's a mini game here. So there are two mini games. So this is the first one. To one of the two mini games I have space to start. Your last video clip. Okay. Congratulations, by the way, for winning the first fight. But this is not the end. In this room, you will have to save your frog. Press space to start, and good luck. Mm. So I have to save my frog. Good. Oh come on, not too bad, buddy. Okay. Not too difficult. Um Okay, I'm guessing the the, the belt will be will get faster along the way. Right, right. I think I'm right. What am I kidding man? I I made this right. Okay, last one. Last one. Last one. 
Come on, man. Spawn the last frog. Where is my frog? Where's Lolly Hops? He's a cheerful one. Come on. Don't do that to him. You have a television. Ooh. Damn it. Where's my frog? I really like to fight the, the fire with the the belt moving behind. Ooh. Not sure if you like it, but I really like it. Come on, Holly Hops! Yeah! Finally! Got at the, at the last minute. At just the last minute. Okay, it's uh. Ooh. Yay, like the first one. Shall we watch it? No. Let's just collect all of them and watch it all together at once. Well, I promise you, I'll, I'll break it down. Break it down to you. Explain. Hmm. What? Well, I went down below. Well, is it. Are all the boss fights really that hard? Well, I understand. I got through only on the second try. Uh, yeah, but, but let me know. Let me know. So here comes the bulldog fight. So here we are. I see you destroy Grandius Tower healing, so you can Ooh. never defeat my. Charlie, this is. I think this is way easier. Oh, okay. Good job. This is way easier than uh, the okay, Halley fight. Come on, man. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Almost got me there. Ooh. Ah, oh, got me there. So these are actually rocks from the from the building, you know. So twelve floors is actually a well, the whole the whole setting is in a well, obviously a, an apartment, apartment building, right? So it's actually a rundown building. So it's really what do you call that? It's it's a rundown building. You get the idea. So he's spawning like a. Like uh, rocks uh, coming from the roof. Uh, yeah. Come on, man. You're doing a bad job, dude. I don't think your the, the dog is uh. Oh gosh. Oh no, almost, almost got me there. Huh. What have you done to my dog? Guilty, my guilty. I'm gonna put you to the police for animal cruelty. Ooh. Did you hear the thunder? Bye, guilty. Whew. That's nice. So, I got it through. Uh, on one try. That's not too bad. Oh wait, Ollie Hop, you're back. Where'd you go? Uh, yeah, I think we should go up, right? I think we should go up. I finished the first fight, second fight, and one mini game. So we have one more fight left and one, one more mini game. And where the hell is Ollie Hops now? Oh, that is clearly a bug, but uh, but uh. When I, when I actually um, saw this. To show your face here after okay, never mind. Holly Hops is not important. This is we more important. Have left you there. Do not, so that the maggots can feast on your flesh. We were your friends. We can get rid of all the parents. Together, 
but you just gotta go ahead and ruin everything for us. I promise you, I'm gonna you get B on the first try as well. You are getting way ahead of yourself, Kurt. You think I'm useless in this Come on, this, this is easy. Let this is simple, it's straightforward, You're right? The Halifax, um, come on. Go about time, I guess. Come on, Manila. Fight me like a man. Oh, sorry. This is easy, dude. Come on. Look at that. Oh no, I got into fire. Oh no. How could you do this to all of us? I don't want to see your face around here anymore. Just leave. See that? Get away from Renju. Do Let's try. Me Come on. Forever. Bye, Manila. Right, so the, the hard part is that the initial uh, design of this boss fight, um, the ground is actually a curved shape. So whenever Manila spawns the wheel, the wheel is going to bounce everywhere and it's going to hit you uh, wherever you go. So that's the tough part. But uh, I, uh, we thought like, it should be, we should go easy on the players. So that's why we changed it to a, like, a straight ground. It's a flat, flat, flat horizontal ground instead of like a with a lot of curves. Where should I go now? We have one last mini game. That last mini game will ground us our last video, but that's what we're going after. Lollipop is back. I think he, I think he likes um this uh this floor. I think he's not willing to come with me. Or does he know? I think he knows where. Uh, but when you get into a fight, I think he knows danger. I think he knows danger. That's why he's not coming. Remember Halley fight? He didn't come with me. He only appeared after after um, I won the fight. Hmm. That's kind of smart actually. I mean, smart for lollyhops to escape danger. Right, see? He's back. I think he really likes this I'm not gonna... Wait for him. Straight, oh, uh, just straight go into that that mini room, mini game room. Not that. So, let's go final one, final one. So, welcome to one of the two mini games designed for you to collect mm -hmm. your last video clip. Congratulations, by the way, for getting through them all. But now, on to the final one. In this room. You will have to rearrange the blocks in order to recollect your memory. Press space to start, and good luck. Good luck. Right, so... What do you think? How many move counts do I need to... Like, well, I, I don't know. I actually don't know. Let's just start. It's not that... It's not that bad, right? Uh, I don't know. Look at this. Okay. I'm stuck already. Um, wow, hold on. What? I'm, I'm, I'm already stuck. It's great. Oh gosh, I'm already stuck. Uh, okay. Oh, I need to get this here, so... Um... Oh gosh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Okay, there we go. 69. Trust me, I didn't plan that. <laughs> okay, we can change it. Oh, don't you dare. So we've completed 
actually, we've completed the entire game. So, uh, where should we go? We, where should we watch our video clip? Mm. Let me go back to where he came from, um, his own bedroom, right? Yeah, let's go back and uh, watch all the video clips. I'll explain to you um, one by one. Cool. Let's go. Let's go. Great. We have all the video clips. Stop on the first one. So, this is for Renduo. Uh, Renduo helicopter. Uh, good result there. Ninety-eight percent. I think he likes the word. I think he likes number ninety-eight. Okay, he probably probably got towed off because he got he, he got only ninety-eight. Where are the other two marks? Huh. He got sat there. Ooh, it's a. Uh, so that's a helicopter design on the wall. He's probably building a helicopter. Oh wow, he's a, he's really a genius though. Okay, helicopter taking off. Wow, he did it. What? He built it, right? Okay. Okay. Oh. So he got towed off by his parents. So he's holding. Do I just against them? Okay. Hmm. Okay. So that's the story for Renduo. Um, so he's actually a very, very smart kid. Uh, as you can tell from the dialogues, uh, he's a very well intelligent kid. So he, he knows all these numbers, he knows all these probabilities. Uh, but the thing is, uh, each kid here. They all treat the parents a uh, very specific reason, and for Renduo's case, he got angry at his parents because, hey, they actually, uh, he, he, he wanted a toy helicopter, right? Uh, because he got like a really high score for his test, and uh, he got turned down from his parents, so he decided to build one himself, and uh, he got his revenge by doing that. Let's uh let's watch the uh, second one. This is supposed to be uh Jews Jews case. Let's see. No, that's a that's a sign for no. I'm guessing Jew wants something from them. So he's sad alone. Uh, guilty is there with the ball. So Jew is definitely sad here. Right? Uh, he's 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 sad. He's feeling sad. Shoot, get away from me. He throws the ball. Guilty goes and uh, fetches it. Okay. Ooh, that's a very evil looking. Okay, okay. So I think he discovered something. He discovered something Guilty can do. There it is. So Jew throws the ball at his parents. And QP bites them to death. So uh, you can see behind there, the parents are actually working. So I, I'm guessing, I, I'm, not, I'm not guessing actually, I, I know uh, the parents are actually very busy. So Ju was actually asking for the time, right? And he got denied. So for revenge, he got felt guilty, guilty to bite them to death. Wow, Ju. <laughs> Get to the last kid, Manoa. So, Manoa, she's got a schedule, a timetable. She's doing her homework. She's feeling sad. Okay. More books. Okay, more homework from her parents. Okay. Ooh, she slammed the door. She tore a timetable. She okay. She gave up. <laughs> she gave up. Okay. She ran out. I think. Yeah. Just running. Just running. 
with uh, the ice covered. That's not good, that's not good, come on. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. She got hit by the car. She lost her legs. Okay, so that explains um, why she's on a wheelchair, right? She lost her legs in a car accident. And now she's feeling even sadder. That's worse. Those are speech bubbles, by the way. Okay. Uh, ooh, full speed. She's, she's going full speed. Okay. So, uh, with the same... Um, yeah, yeah, she's just she's, she's going after her parents. Uh, she's charging at them. That's how she killed her parents. Mm. Exactly. So, for Rendor's case, um, so... I explained, right? Rendo, uh, he he he's a very intelligent boy, but he when he demanded for a toy, uh, he got he got rejected. So he decided to build one, and then he got his revenge by uh, shooting the cells from his helicopter. And for Drew, he actually got denied when he was asking when all he was asking for uh, was their time, and his parents was actually his parents were actually very busy, so he got turned down time and time again. So. Uh, he found out that Guilty, Guilty can, can fight things off when he, when, when he chose the ball, so he chose the ball directly at the parents. So, Guilty bit them to death. From Noah, simple, I think it's, it's pure stress. Homework stress, she ran out because uh, of the heavy workload, and uh, she got into a car accident, she lost her leg, and she got her revenge in the end. Right. So, what's the case with... Uh, Curtis, that's the uh, last clip, right? So last clip. So Kurt, those are the three kids. Um, I'm guessing they'll have their fair share of um, events already. Right. You see, Curtis is holding a pencil and throwing it at um, his own dad. <laughs> So dad actually got away from the from the what do you call that ambush and he got his hand and some bruises right on his hand. So he saw the pencil that he gave Curtis. Well he obviously got angry because Curtis was trying to kill him actually. So he broke his pencil. That's his favorite pencil by the way. Uh, dad gave it to him. And dad left. Right. So remember, remember in, in, the, in the beginning, Noah was telling Curtis that um, that was a broken branch taped to a pencil, his favorite pencil. So what, what the, the truth is actually, uh, it's a uh, broken pencil instead of a broken branch. Yeah, so the kids lied to him actually. Yeah, so that's the end of the game. Thank you for playing 12 Doors. Uh, team at Station R Games would appreciate it if you could share this game with those around to that spot. So that that left. Right. So he's never gonna come back. Um yeah. So um the four video clips explain um the they're practically about kids um um why kids kill their parents. I mean that each of the each of each of the kids each kid has a specific reason for killing the parents. So it's all explained in the in the video clips. Uh, I think uh, it really has to do with uh, filling in the gaps with your own uh, interpretation. Uh, but again, I think uh, the execution there wasn't exactly uh, great. Uh, there's a lot of improvement to be to be made um, in terms of execution, in terms of uh, game mechanics, right? So, uh, speaking about the game, right? Um, Twelve Wars. It's actually uh, the entire idea came from uh, having having kids who have a specific reason for killing their parents. So. It's all, it's all about the kids, right? And and setting is in a in a condo, it's an apartment called. Uh, well, we don't have the name for the apartment, but uh, it happened across different floors, 
and specifically for 30th, it's on the 12th. Oh. Yeah. So, um, well, comment down below what uh, which scene or which part of the game uh, you think this is, is made incredibly well. Uh, well, to me, I really like the fact that it's uh, it's aesthetically pleasing. I think we we nail the aesthetics, we nail the fight. But in terms of mechanics, I think uh, we there's a lot of improvement to be to be made. Uh, well, as you can see, you, for now you can only slash, you can only jump, you can only move left and right, right. So uh, we could introduce more game mechanics for you to for players to with more stuff to do actually. With the launch of Pop Wars, we are able to learn a lot that, that, that we can bring on to the next to the next game. So yeah, that's the entire um, um, uh, motivation, inspiration, as you can see, uh, the story behind Pop Wars. Yeah, so that's really, really it. Um, let me know what you think about Pop Wars, uh, if you have played it. I think the next, the next session with you guys would be talking about my next game, right? Stay, definitely stay tuned for that, right? Okay, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye.